Are you ready for some phenomenal solar science and space weather? We're talking about the sun is the reason for this strange season. Are you up for some atmospheric phenomena? As fantastic news. Yes, it is. I'm Star-Lord Newthor 7. And we're talking about Steve. He's a wild and crazy guy. Are you ready for this gosh dang good doom episode? You better have your big boy pants on, ma'am. Hey, y'all. They found a new weird thing in the sky. This isn't your typical aurora. This thin purple ribbon of light has been getting reported by night observers to go along with the more familiar green swirls. They named it Steve. Which is short for Strong Thermal Emission Velocity Enhancement. Mercury is in retrograde. So is Jupiter. I'm a Sagittarius. My communicating skills may not be super, uh, um, dang. Uh, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, things are weird. It's true. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. And here we go. Everyone of you dicks wants to talk about planets. Man, what a weird day. Thor News presents, the great thing about science is, anytime something weird happens, science shows up and is like, I can explain that. Everybody calm down. And so, due to the fact that the sun has been acting peculiar, strange, different, weird, odd, out of norms, then um, due to that factor thingy, we've been seeing a lot of space weather and auroras, strange clouds, strange bodies, artifacts, WTF was that? I don't know, right? Sky almost looks like it's in 5D. And they're definitely going to need that 5G to go with the 5D. Oh no, 5DG. We're done for. Gosh dang, good doom. GDGD, gosh dang, good doom. Okay, yeah, I'm having problems talking. And when I say stuff, people are like, oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Whatever. Just calm down, everybody. Auroras versus Twilight. What is an aurora? I don't even know. If I was having trouble talking, I'm definitely having trouble understanding what other people are saying. Don't worry, this will wear off in like 10 days-ish. Whoop! Can birds see space weather? That's a fantastic question. There are space birds in space. And there are space fish in space. There's a whole lot of space bird and space fish poop in space. <sighs> Spectroscopy, that shit. Best joke ever! Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me see you spectroscopy a hot dog, man. I know. It's a YouTube video, man. If you came in expecting Gone with the Wind, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you've never even seen Gone with the Wind. It's a movie, and it was made before you were born, and it's really good. It's like the Bible, but different. Auroras versus Twilight. Why is everybody gonna fight? Why is, why is it always gonna be versus? Why is it always gonna be? One verse to other. I mean, I love a good healthy competition as much as anyone. As northern spring unfolds, long arctic nights are coming to an end. Aww. With this transition comes a rare mixture of colors. Twilight blue and aurora green. What auroras are, they're crowns on top of planets. They're how I think you can tell if something is a planet or not. Because it has an aurora. Mercury does not have an aurora because Mercury is the sun's moon. You know, if everybody else agrees the science on everything. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with a few things. If Mercury wants to be a planet, that's cool. I'm not saying take away its planet status, but I just really consider it more of the sun's moon. So that's my theory and I'm sticking with it. It don't have no aurora. Sarah has no aurora. Jupiter, aurora. Uranus, aurora. Neptune, aurora. Mars, aurora. Saturn, aurora. Pluto, no aurora. Eris, aurora. See what I did there? Boom! Boom. So yeah, sky's been weird. We're talking about Steve. Five minutes in, barely talk about it. Man, I haven't started talking about Steve yet. Let me let me Google Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve is an atmospheric optical phenomenon which appears as a purple green light ribbon. It's a green light ribbon. This is such an Easter story. Purple and green. It's a purple and green ribbon in the sky that you can see without any drugs to get you there. Can you smoke weed legal in Aurora lands? That's a dumb question. Formally discovered in 2017, hey, it's fantastic, by Aurora Watchers from Alberta, Canada. 
Things are weird in Canada. I've never been there, though. Because I'm an American, I can have an expert opinion on places I've never visited. <sighs> That's a joke. Does anybody even know what jokes are anymore? According to Eric Donovan's analysis of satellite data from the European Space Agency, ESAT swarm mission, Steve is caused by a 25 kilometer wide ribbon of hot gases at an altitude of 450 kilometers, a temperature of 3,000 Celsius, and flowing at a speed of 6 kilometers per second compared to 10 meters a second outside of the ribbon. What? Okay, math! I have problems with it sometimes. The phenomenon is not rare. Wait, dude, you found it in 2017, and you can say it's not rare. You, you guys are you guys are weird or clever or both. But nobody had looked into it. You're right, I did. As a guy that like productions joke, you're welcome. But nobody looked into it in detail until now, prior to that. No, I screwed that whole sentence up. Hey, science, why, why does it do that? Occurrence and cause. Steve can be spotted closer to the equator than the aurora. And as of March 2018, has been observed in the United Kingdom, Canada, Alaska, northern U.S. states, and New Zealand. Steve appears as a very narrow arc extending for hundreds of thousands of miles aligned east to west. Steve generally lasts for 20 minutes to an hour. Steve sounds popular with the ladies. Am I right? I mean, generally, he's like most of the time. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> As of March 2018, Steve has only been spotted in the presence of an aurora. Was she hot? Was she attractive? Can I objectify something that is only made of charged particles? And remember, don't have an orgasm on an electric fence. I don't even know what that means. Mercury retrograde. Jupiter retrograde. Is martial on my mind, man. It's martial lawing my mind. Oh, man. Steve was not observed from October 2016 to February 2017. Yeah, he was probably in a relationship. Because sometimes you'll have like a really great guy friend, and then they'll get into a relationship with a really great girl. And then you will never see him again. Asterisk. Or from October 2017 to February 2018. Leading NASA to believe that Steve may only appear in certain seasons. Oh, so he's like rock and roll? Only appears in non-Martian and Plutonian seasons? A member of Alberta Aurora Chaser suggested strong thermal emission, velocity enhancement. Oh, that has sexy written all over it. Some scientists suggested that Steve accompanies a sub-auroral ion drift. Don't we all when we can? That's what she said. That's what Steve said? I'm gonna crap. Warning. What am I to do here? Steve, what are you doing? It was discovered by the Alberta Aurora Chasers. You just have to be faster than the auroras. It's a phenomenon to a proton aurora, and erroneously called them proton arcs. But when physics professor Eric Donovan from the University of Calgary saw the pictures, he suspected that was not the case. I screwed all this up. Because proton auroras are not visible. Oh, as he correlated the time and location of the phenomenon with swarm satellite data and Song Despin's photo, not seen here, including GPS coordinates, the phenomena. The sun is the reason for this strange season. Okay, I gotta go. Wait, I'll keep looking at it. Oh, I'm gonna meet you in the middle. Wait, what? I love you. Can I say that? Yeah, no one's listening to me. It's just me all by my. Oh, bye. I think the sun is about to get active and drop it like it's hot. Unlike similar holes. What? Okay. Unlike similar holes near the sun's poles, this hole is particularly geoeffective because it straddles the sun's equator. Ooh. <laughs> Allowing it to squarely target Earth with a stream of solar plasma. Right in the face of science and Earthlings. The last time its gaseous material interacted with our planet's magnetic field, spectacular auroras were observed around the Arctic Circle. You can say that again. It's like fireworks everywhere from La Petite Mort of solar science. We already know from observations of brown dwarfs that they have clouds in the atmosphere. Now we know that they also show auroras. It is 
yet more reason to consider brown dwarfs as scaled up versions of planets rather than scaled down versions of stars. Fantastic. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. A brown dwarf is like a Jupiter that starts to go through puberty. There you go. That's perfect. So buckle up, Betty. We're going for a ride.